are y'all? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so, uh, so today I am doing the Subway Foot Long Challenge, and it was created by my friend Isla Michael. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook, interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of so our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this is a Subway Foot Long Challenge. Well, of course, it's still sub week it's sub week day six and um this challenge was created by isla michael it's his very first challenge so you guys go ahead and check his video out his video will be in my description box you can watch it for the official rules now let me tell you what i did um, I had gotten the food for the video for yesterday and then I decided to go ahead and get what I was going to eat today because, well for this video because I was like, well I know places probably won't be open for Christmas so let me get something ahead of time. So I got the subway and then I realized I was like, oh crap, I should have just, you know, got something so I could do the challenge or whatever. But these are i mean they're six inch i got all six inches so i mean they're still a, they're still a foot long it's just two different sandwiches or whatever so we're gonna do it with this you feel me and then i got so one of these is an italian bmt the other one's chicken bacon ranch and this one is a buffalo chicken flatbread these are by far like mostly they, they always have some sort of chicken bacon something or whatever so i usually get that but the italian bmt and the buffalo chicken flatbread are my favorite things to get from subway i've talked you guys this ear off long enough i am a little tired it is late um i am up <laughs> um helping santa okay so um yeah so let me put this stopwatch or this timer on you have 10 minutes that you can drink. Um, basically, you just need to finish the foot long in 10 minutes. That's that's what he was like. You just got to finish it, okay? Um, so yeah, you can have anything you want on your uh, subs or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. And, yeah, so I got my water. It's open. And, yeah, we're going to go. So, bam. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm 
Uh, I'm telling you, man, it feels good to get a win when you've been taking L's, you feel me? No, um, I was going to say that was actually a really good challenge. Um, definitely go and support Isla Michael, okay? If you haven't, if you don't know who he is. I've talked about him on the channel before. We've done a collab before. Uh, definitely go ahead and check him out. He started off doing mukbangs, and he still does mukbangs, but he's also going to start incorporating some other stuff into his channel. So. Check him out and check this challenge, this challenge out. Um, I think everybody tagged all the people that I would be tagging. I've seen um, Bob Soulful Eats, um, Marquise Hilson do it. Which I hope I be saying Marquise name right because I hear people saying Marquise. I actually know how to say it because I've been watching his videos all the time, but now listen, my real name is complicated, so I hate for people well, I hate for people, but you know, it's I can understand you know, saying people's name wrong, so I do try to get people's names right. Even though I know y'all see this after the fact. What kind of Santa's helper are you? Are you a... Uh, do Santa get to y'all early, you feel me? And everything be already ready to go? Like, do people do your... Kids see um, Santa's work? You know, throughout the season, all the way up until Christmas, or are y'all working in the in the toy shop on Christmas Eve? 
I'm always a uh, on Christmas Eve because it's just a um, a family tradition type of thing because that's how my dad used to do how my family used to do or whatever like you didn't see anything until you know that morning and for me I keep saying that to give the illusion that you may or may not get to it may not, may not be nothing under there when you wake up you better hope you was good enough to receive something okay And give me a, a chance to think and decide whether or not something's going to shake. I wonder what would, what would happen. That's me to think about. But like, <laughs> what y'all think little Gavin would do? Like, if he woke up and it's just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it hasn't happened. Although... There have been a couple times where it should have happened, like this. This I'm thinking about this one uh, Christmas in particular, and Santa spent like five hundred dollars, which probably ain't. This probably chump change to a boss or something like that. But at the, but it was at the last minute though, like because. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yes. Um. It was at the last minute. Me and Santa had decided in our hearts of hearts that it just wasn't happening that year because homie was literally off the chain. And we still made it happen. And my dad was mad that year because I had got, me and Santa had spent that money. But me and Santa ain't, ain't, ain't get my dad anything, so my dad was like, oh, he ain't deserve nothing. He shouldn't have got no Christmas. He ain't give me a Christmas gift. <laughs> I hate that y'all can't see my antlers because, look, they super huge. <laughs> yeah, so Subway, um... Was a go. Although I was trying not to do Subway, just because there are so many different, like you know, sub places or whatever that I could patron. However, what I was thinking today, I was just like, you know, we went to get the place that y'all saw in yesterday's video, and then I was like, well, there's a Subway on the way home. And again, I was thinking like. Well, one, I wanted to get something quick that was not out the way so that we could get home and eat ourselves because we was hungry. And then, yeah. Just something that I could grab real quick or whatever, and it was on the way to the grocery store, and then we came home. Also, okay, it is snowing outside. I really thought that we had skated past what I would experience in a white Christmas. I, it's not that important to me anymore. It used to be. Like, I really used to, like, love having snow on Christmas. I can literally do without it. But we got it. Also, for the Bubby... Me and Santa almost forgot where we put some stuff. I was really sitting here, like, really scratching my head, like, what the heck did I, like, where could I have put it? Listen, my place ain't but so big, okay? And it ain't but so many places. I'm just like, where the heck did I, uh, oh, excuse me. Mm. Where the heck did I put it? I found it. Listen, because I was just like, okay, well. I mean, he ha he has enough without, you know, I definitely got him way too many toys. And I almost did a duplicate and got something that 
I forgot that uh, my mom had already got. But, you know, he still... Probably bare, I mean, he played with the toys that he got now. But... He didn't need that, that many court toys that he got. He only needed a couple. But, you know, just being me, I could, I, you know, me and Santa, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. We couldn't chill. And we did. We did. Not for name one of them. But, you know, I just, you know, yeah, I don't know. And my babies, what I'm supposed to do? What I'm supposed to do, y'all? So yeah, I hope y'all had a good um, holiday, Christmas. If y'all if y'all celebrate Christmas, if y'all celebrate Kwanzaa, you know what I'm saying. I hope that's good to y'all this season as well. I've learned about Kwanzaa plenty, many times during my schooling, and one year I'm gonna celebrate it. Now, do you think it's an oxymoron to celebrate Christmas and Kwanzaa? I'm sure some people do it. Um, what else? I had to tell y'all something else. I hope y'all enjoyed the video with my brother. That is my oldest brother, blood brother. As y'all can see, I am the, um, darkest skinned one out of my siblings. My mama's side of the family genes run really strong, clearly, because, you know, except for with me, obviously. You know what they used to tell me? And I meant to bring this up. My brother was sitting right there. And, you know, because I told y'all the story about what they said about us going to sleep. Otherwise, Santa would pour uh, pepper in our eyes or whatever. These fools used to make fun of me and tell me that I was burnt, okay? And that I got burnt in the oven, okay? And that I was adopted because I was the only dark-skinned child. You see? They mean. They mean. Okay. Now, we, listen, we all, <laughs> everybody gets it equally. It's so funny. Like, um... Um, we were on the family call and I was talking to my, with my cousin was on there and she was just cracking up because I think we was, I forget who we was going in on, but we was going in on somebody. But listen, everybody has their day in the family call. Nobody is in, is exempt. At some point, every, somebody getting roasted and everybody jumping on that person. It's pretty funny. Now you got to have tough, you got to have thick and tough skin to be up in this family. I'm telling you because... You can't be sensitive, and I learned that early because, man, my uncles, like, they cut throat and stuff like that. Like, and I think they got it from their uncles or whatever, but my one Uncle Larry, I would love to have him on the channel one day. Oh, my gosh. I, like, I think he's hilarious, so I feel like y'all would absolutely love him. But that dude, let me tell y'all, okay? Kids, close your ears, okay? Man, he, uh... Or not that it's made for kids anyway. Um, but anywho, so when I, so Gavin, when I had Gavin, um, it was about a month after I had Gavin, we were over um, my cousin's house, my cousin Ruben, who was on the channel, um, just visiting, hanging out, and um, my Uncle Larry came down, and he was, you know, asking all questions, because so, like I did say, it was about a month after I had Gavin. Um, so he was asking all the questions, you know, how big was he, all this good other kind of stuff. And I was like, you know, Gavin was nine pounds and one ounce. Nine pounds and one ounce. And he was like, oh, yeah, you had a C-section? I was like, no, you know, I had him, you know, naturally or whatever. And he was like, you pushed a nine-pound baby out? He was like, oh. He was like, oh, you're ruined. He said, don't tell nobody else. That. She said, he said, if you want a man, don't tell him that I had a nine-pound baby. <laughs> And I bust out laughing. I think it's hilarious, but I when I've told some people that story, like they just like, dang, he mean. I'm just like, but that's just him. Like I, I didn't take offense to it at all. I actually thought it was hilarious, and clearly I still do. And I like to repeat the story because it's hilarious to me. So, but that's the type of stuff that we dealing with. What, what Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry, like he taught you to be tough for real. I think, I think, well, what they say? I think one of my, I think he stabbed my, one of my brothers with a fork or whatever. He used to, like, just dog us out all the time. Like, all the time. Like, and 
Yeah, but I mean, that was Uncle Larry. What you gonna do? You weren't gonna do that. You weren't gonna beat his. You weren't gonna beat his ass. Yeah. Um, what else I got to tell you? Because at this point, I'm just rambling and I'm stalling because I, I keep looking over here because I'm looking at how much I got left. How much me and Santa got left. I mean, it ain't that much. I just... I won't go sleep. But also, I'm editing a video at the same time and my computer will act crazy. So, I'm going to be up for a while. I'm going to be up for a while, you know. And on that, I'm gonna let on that note, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you, it's Michael, for tagging me in this challenge. I also think that I got tagged multiple times as well. Or maybe just Big Billy Bob said that he would have tagged me, but it's Michael had already tagged me. Um, but yeah, so y'all definitely go ahead and check out it's Michael's channel. Check out his video. It will be in the description box. Um of course he'll be commenting on he always he comments on all my videos so if you can't find it nowhere else just look for his comment because he will be there um and yeah is that all i got um i hope y'all uh be easy also don't forget y'all know we're going live tonight even though it is a holiday weekend we definitely still going live at 7 p.m hold on my camera is like not focusing hold on Is it? It's really not. Bam! There we go. All right. Um, you know it's Saturday, so that means we're going live at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, regular time. Y'all join your girl. We're gonna play again, okay? And yeah, we're gonna have some fun, and that's gonna be that, okay? So, on that note. I'm a peace out on y'all. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook, interact with us because we like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.